jaljilo jaljilo ya lemo jila gadan gata gara ya lemo jila Ethiopia is an ancient country that is located in the Horn of Africa. It is composed of more than 80 nations, nationalities and people. Among these is the Oromo Nation. The Oromo Nation belongs to the Cushitic linguistic stock. Since 1991, the Oromia Regional State has been established within the federal government of Ethiopia. Oromia is the largest as well as the most populous of all regional states of the country. Addis Ababa, or Finfinne, is the capital of the Oromia region as well as that of the federal government of Ethiopia. In Oromia, agriculture is the dominant sector of the economy. Most of the Tulama and Mecha Oromo are farmers, whereas Borana, Gabra, and Karayu Oromo are pastoralists, and Guji, Arsi, and Itu Oromo are agro-pastoralists. The Oromo are known for their remarkable indigenous democratic socio-political system known as the Gada, which they have kept working until today. Gada divides the stages of life of individuals from childhood to old ages into a series of formal stages. As soon as a child is born, he is recruited into the appropriate party, which is 40 years behind his father, and joins the first grade named Dabelli. The Dabelli are sons of the Gada class, who are in power as leaders of the Oromo. The Dabelli grow their hair long and decorate it with cowrie shells. This hairstyle is known as Guduru. At this age, they perform light work and are confined around their parents' hearts. The mothers of the Dabelli are greatly honored. Their blessings are sought by women. Dabelli Ali, may you give birth to Dabelli and enjoys a variety of privileges among the society. Upon reaching their eighth year, the Dabelli child undergoes a naming ceremony and enters the second grade known as Junior Game or Game Titiko. The latter get their hair shaped in circular shape at the top middle part of their head and allow the rest to grow long. The Gamme are expected to look after calves in the immediate neighborhood of the village. In the system, everyone has a role appropriate to his age. At the age of 17, the junior Gamme joins the third grade called the senior Gamme or Gamme Gugurdo, which opens without any formal ceremony. The boys mark their passage into the grade with a slight change in hairstyle, that is, the shaven part of their hair would be smaller than in the previous grade. The senior Gami learn herding cattle and may now go long distances and take their family herds to river valleys in search of good pasture, which they call it for During the last three years of senior Gami, they go from camp to camp singing, feasting, and collecting members of their class. This ceremony is called Walargi or to see each other and Nyachisa or feast. The spears that are held during the celebration are used to decorate the traditional singing and dancing and to demonstrate their cultural heritages and not to harm others. In the transition ride from the third to the fourth grade, Gamme Kusa, the boys sang songs of Gada passage known as Moke. <laughs> Six members of the Kusa Stratum are recruited and conditions are facilitated for them to acquire leadership knowledge and skills, though they do not yet assume full authority except in their own group. At the Kusa Raba transition, that is, at the beginning of the fifth grade, Raba Dori, boys who are old enough are expected to marry. The marriage ceremony constitutes a rite of passage for most of the members of the class. In the Gada system, each class comes to power when it reaches the sixth grade. The transfer of power involves exchange of yogurt and blessings between the incoming and the outgoing leaders of the classes. Bunakala or roasted coffee is also served. In this power takeover ceremony, referred as Bali Wali Rafudu, the outgoing Gada ruling class hands over ostrich feather, a symbol of authority, to the incoming. The cultural side for power transfer in Guji is at Meeboku. The transfer of power is often characterized by a smooth transition. The Borana and Gebra Oromo hand over power in Arero district, while that of the Itu Oromo is at Odabultu, where offices and a hall or galma has been built as center of administration for the Gada officials recently. The leader of the Gada class in power is known as Abba Gada, or father of the class or ruling period, or Ababoku, meaning 
father of Scepter. Promotion to this office is effected through election. When the Abagada and his cabinet come to office, they swear to honestly serve the people for one Gada or eight years. The Abagada on power should be a respected man who commit no crime, should be healthy, married, respect rules of the Gada system, a man with leadership quality and knowledge. A bagada ties kalecha or headgear on his forehead, which is a symbol of power, reconciliation, and sovereignty. He also takes boku or scepter, another symbol of power that the Oromo believe it is from waga or gut. Those elected officials of the party live in one village. The village formed the political center and called kacha among the Guji Oromo and yaagabala among the Karayu Oromo. It is from this center that directions and orders radiate to other parts of the nation. They also administer day-to-day -day life and mediate disputes and take part in many of the rituals of the people. In the Gada system, once every eight years, the Abagada called into session the Legislative Assembly. This assembly is the highest authority above all other institutions. Most of the Gada assemblies and representatives of the entire society convene under the shade of Oda tree. The Oda tree is the emblem and sacred tree for the Oromo. The Oromo have five main orders, such as Oda Nabe for Central Oromia, Oda Bultum for Eastern Oromia, Oda Bisil and Buluk for Western Oromia, and Oda Roba in Bali for Southern Oromia. Oda is preferred to other three species for political and religious center because of its grace and shade and its evergreen nature. In Borana, the legislative assembly meet under Akeja tree near the well of Gayo and called Gumi Gayo or the assembly at Gayo. The national assembly or Gumi or Chafe meet in the middle of the Gada period once every eight years to review the laws, to make new laws, to evaluate the main in power and to resolve major conflicts. In the Gada system, there is an institution known as Sinke to protect the rights of Oromo women. Sinke is a thin, long stick given to women at their marriage ceremony as a sign of the beginning of married life. This stick represents authority of women. For instance, if someone abuses a woman, the victim carries her Sinke and asks the women in her village join her with their own Sinke to share her grievance and defend her right. In this way, the Sinke institution in the Gada system promoted gender equality among the Orm. Gada also has a great contribution to environmental conservation and to sustainable development by making laws that are favorable for the preservation of natural resources. Abagadas of the various major clans from all over Oromia also established their own council at Bishoftu town recently to share experiences, promote the Gada system and the culture and language of the Oromo people, realize good governance and ensure peace and stability. Within the Gada system, there is a thanksgiving ceremony known as Erecha. Erecha is a thanksgiving religious ceremony conducted either at riverside, lakeside, or on top of mountains. The Erecha ceremony is held nationally in September every year at Hora Arsadi or Lake Arsadi, located to the north of Bishoftu town. In this festival, thousands of attendants and participants from all over Oromia, led by Abagadas, hold wet grass and other or Abyssinian daisies and put it at the lakeside to extend their prayers and thanksgiving to Waga, or the Oromo Supreme God, for his life-giving rains, health and human fertility and for helping them pass over to the bright spring season from the dark rainy summer. On this occasion, women hold sinking. One of them also carries chachu, a religious object made of a skin of cow that is decorated with cowrie shell on her shoulder. On their way to our city, they sing saying Mareo. The Erecha festival is also attended by government officials, members of the diplomatic corps, and tourists from all over the world. Thousands of attendants and participants from all over Oromia also express their joy in various ways during this festival. Caramba.